Ah. All right. So now we did that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now there's a small hint from the tradition. Because I talked of infidelity, I have to give some goodies. Okay. Treat the, treating the seventh lord as the lagna, yes. the eighth lord therefrom, shows that which causes the affair to begin. Mm -hmm. So that means, now I'm not looking at Venus as the lagna. Now I'm treating seventh lord as the lagna. Uh -huh. As if it's like a lagna of the spouse. All right? And there I will see the eighth house, because the eighth house is that which is where the breakage of marriage is happening, or rather the infidelity. Okay, okay. But this is not the only place where marriage can break. We actually differentiate between personal breaking and infidelity. There's a difference. Okay. Right? Here, herein we say, in a similar fashion to avoid problems between oneself and spouse, examine the fourth house from seventh law. So mm -hmm. what is this? These are both Mars's houses, right? Mars's drishti, I'm sorry. Fourth oh. and eighth drishti is Mars. Mars oh. is responsible for security. So if, when he decides something to be insecure, something can start breaking. So okay. treat seventh lord as lagna and see the fourth therefrom to see how secure are you personally with the spouse. Okay. Like what are the topics which cause you and your spouse to fight all the time or to be happy also for that matter. Okay. Benefics will cause more happiness, right? Good yogas. Malefics will cause problems. You mean uh, fourth from the seventh lord will yeah. cause good? Yeah, I'll explain in an example chart in a minute. Uh -huh, okay. The fourth from the seventh lord is responsible for when you are feeling difficulties with your spouse. Between you and spouse. Not okay. somebody else. Nobody other. It's just you and spouse. Fourth from Correct. Seventh. Okay. Problem? There's a problem. Good? No problem. Okay. Uh. And we can do this in a similar way that we did earlier. You know, we astrologers, we don't waste so much time. We first pick out all the grahas who are in a curse, in debility, afflicted, sandhi, gandanta, all that. We make a list. We, we don't always get a long list. We'll get like three or four grahas, most. Most, most will be that, at most. Then we see, all right, is this in, in, in eighth or fourth from the seventh lord? Is this in second or fifth from Venus? Is this in somehow connected to second from Upana? And then we can differentiate between what's going on there. Okay? Mm -hmm. correct, correct. So, so even before doing this, don't start looking for problems. First, make a list of the real problems in your chart and then see if they're linked to these houses. Straight to oh, no. oh, no. yeah, I'm teaching a bit of chart analysis here. <laughs> okay? Now, but if this is connected to the eighth from seventh lord, it's somebody else who's stealing your spouse or your spouse oh. being stolen or somebody trying to steal you. Okay. So, fourth from seventh lord, you and spouse. Eighth from seventh lord, somebody, some third person. Oh. Now, how to use this information? Let's say Hillary Clinton comes to you and mm -hmm. she says, look, what do I do? Then you say, all right, your seventh lord is Jupiter in the sixth. By the way, mm -hmm. maybe your spouse is having some health problem. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right? Venus is well placed. Odd sign Venus well placed, so you'll have Sri Sukha. Oh, it's still working, huh? Sri Sukha is Raja Yoga here. Okay, anyway. Now, so from here, I will see, because Jupiter is the seventh lord, I will say, okay, look at the fourth lord there from. What is your problem between you and your spouse? Fourth lord there from, either Saturn or Rahu. Okay. okay. Between you and your spouse, the problem is either Rahu or Saturn. Let me try Saturn first. Saturn is in second house. If Saturn is in second house, the person has indistinct speech. What does that mean? They do not speak properly. Okay. Yes. You are not portraying what it is you want to say properly. You are not speaking clearly and properly to your spouse. One thing to avoid very specially, if you have Saturn in the second or Lord in the second, that means good. Dano lagna, makara lagna also. Yes. You, have, you have to be very careful with your speech because you can develop very bad language. Oh. Okay? If you are swearing and you have Saturn associated with your second house or Lord in your second house, you are ruining your second house. All right? Yes. Does everybody ruin their second house to Saturn in second? If you find a nice Raja Yoga over there, maybe you are earning money because you're swearing. 
<laughs> could be, right? could be. Yes, but I don't like to tell that to people. All right. Yes. Either, either way, in this chart, I am noticing that her personal problems with her spouse are arising from bad speech. Okay. I could also go one step further. Maybe she has good reason to have the bad speech because I thought this is what caused her to see her husband running away from her all the time in all those affairs, right? Remember that? Mm -hmm. In the previous, previously, the same Saturn yeah. mass combination caused her, the husband to run away and start having affairs. Yes. So this is like saying that she's having a personal problem with him running away and having affairs. But if I can find the root problem, why did he start? What was that which instigated him to leave? Okay. The instigation for him to think when going out the door, I'm going to do this today. Okay. Her second house. Be careful of what you say. Okay. Saturn in Cancer. Extremely manipulative speech. Okay. Very. Because the same Saturn in Cancer for Bill Clinton was in his Lagna. Manipulating minds. Right? Uh -huh. Saturn is still in Cancer here. Still manipulating minds. But it's in second house. Your speech is highly manipulative. Okay. Yes. And that is causing a problem. It causes the initial disturbance. Okay. Now, second thing. Eighth from Ju the seventh Lord. Where should you stay away from to avoid infidelity in your marriage? Okay. In other yes. words, where are the third people going to show up? <laughs> okay. See this eighth from Jupiter? We get Gemini. Yes. There's no planet there. So I'll take the Lord. As it is, it's a problem that it's the Lagna, right? You just have to oh. be born. There will be infidelity. Is it? Okay. The Lord is Mercury and it's in the fifth house in a Raja Yoga. If you are in, are you, if you walk along the offices and doorways of power, there will be affairs. Wow. Okay. And which part of these places? In Libra. Libra are the places where there are debates. Oh. Yes. In debate circles, people will come into you or your spouse's life and steal them from you. At this stage, I am not differentiating between who is having the affair. Yes, that's what I wanted to ask. <laughs> that I will see from the moon. I will not explain that here. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, the blame game is going to go around town. So. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, in debate scenarios, that can happen. Okay. Fantastic. This is. For example, let's say your eighth lord from your seventh lord is in is in Gemini. Gemini's place of exercise, right? So, oh, if you or your partner decides to start going for yoga class, there's a problem. Okay. Like that. That's how we use this. Wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> what else do I have for you? Let me see. Oh, all houses from Venus. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so, so we did all this, and now we're coming to all houses from Venus. So, but fortunately, this is not the most difficult part. It's just, I have to explain it. You seem like, it seems like it's not difficult, but everything I've explained before is the real tricky part. Okay? Uh-huh. Hmm. Now, when we look at all houses from Venus, uh, we again are treating Venus as the Lagna. Mm -hmm. And we should divide the houses into groups to understand how they work. Okay. The, now, planets in 2nd, 4th, 11th, 5th, or 8th from Venus give you comfort and affection. It should say and over there. I'll change that later. Now, uh, what are these houses? They are called Argala houses. Okay. If, and if you read a book and you read Argala houses, they will read these. These are the ones who are giving Argala to Venus. Okay. Now, the opposite houses from these are obstructing Venus. So if second gave, twelfth is obstructing. Oh. If fourth gave, tenth is obstructing. How do I explain fourth and tenth easily? Fourth is when you're uncomfortable, when you're, when you're, you are comfortable, sorry, when you are home, when you are fine. Okay. Yes. Whom is the fourth house? Mom. What is mom doing? She did. She's working for you. You come home. Mom, oh. says, mom asks, have you eaten? Uh, do you need anything to drink? Have you slept? Have you this? She, and she's running around for you to do all that. Correct. Correct. Right. Whereas 10th is when you are running, running around for somebody else. That's when you go to work. Yes. Correct. 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 So 
What's happening is you are at the receiving end. In the second house, you're being fed. In the uh -huh. fourth house, somebody's working for you. Okay? You're uh -huh. not working. They are working for you. Eleventh house, they are giving you something. You're receiving again, like an income. Okay? Fifth house, you are getting knowledge. Somebody's teaching you something. Eighth house, your body is being released from some suffering, some released from wow. some tension. Eighth house is when you go to bathroom. <coughs> yeah. All right? Okay. <clears throat> All right? So mm -hmm. these houses are giving you opportunities to grow. But the thing is, you're becoming big and fat and lazy. Okay. Okay? So as a result of which, if you have more planets in these houses from Venus, you're becoming very lazy in relationships. Okay. And you end up expecting more from your spouse. Okay. Notice that in these, the second and fifth define the future of the relationship. Oh. So after marriage, you're waiting for the partner to do. Before marriage, oh. you are gladly making sacrifices. Oh, okay. It, right? But it's the truth. Yes. <laughs> the opposite houses. Twelfth house makes you fast. You will not eat, right? Second was eating. Twelfth, uh -huh. fasting. Tenth, you are, you are working. Third, you are helping other people. You're going out of your way to do for others. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ninth, you are the one looking for knowledge. You are not getting it. You're looking for it. All right? Um. And sixth, you have to fight some issue, some weakness. Okay? okay. Weakness you have to fight. Benefix means you're actually fighting the weakness. Malefics mm -hmm. means you gave in to the weakness and started fighting with people. All right? All right? This is all seen from Venus. Now, if you have more planets in these houses from Venus, you are getting less affection in relationships. Oh. Because of which, you are a better human being. You work harder for affection. Your expectations are lower. You sacrifice more for partner. You are a better human being. Fantastic. Peculiar, but this is the case. This is how people work. In relationships, it's all about giving and giving. There is no taking. Once you expect taking, means you are not getting under, you're not understanding relationships. There's no taking in relationships, only giving. The sooner you learn it, the sooner you'll be happy in relationships. If you are having a problem in your relationship, it is because your expectations are off. And your expectations are off because you're expecting the partner to reciprocate in some way. Yes. It does not mean you are in the right relationship. Maybe you are in the wrong relationship. Okay? Okay. All right? Because there are some basic criteria which should be there for a good relationship. And that means that you should feel secure. All yes. right? If you do not feel secure, either physically or emotionally, it may probably is not the right relationship, unfortunately. Okay? But if you have security, but you're still waiting for spouse to change in some way, no, 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 that doesn't work. All right? You are supposed to give, and they are supposed to give. If one of you is expecting to take, that's when the problems start. Now, in this, I haven't mentioned one house from Venus, and that's the seventh from Venus. The okay. seventh from Venus is bringing the spouse into your life. Okay. Okay? Which is making you starting to have to give. All right? Uh -huh. But the first from Venus can make you start feeling as if you need to hold your own identity. You need to hold your own ground. You are important, not the spouse. And then uh -huh. you might reject the spouse. Uh -huh. So first from Venus can make you reject spouse. Wow. All right? Because you are more important than the spouse. Uh -huh. Yes. So therefore, we may identify here that planets join the Venus may not be good for marriage. Oh, okay. The next slide, I will show you which, houses, which planets are good for Venus. I mentioned here loosely, only Sun, Moon, and Jupiter are truly beneficial for Venus in relations. Rest are not. All the enemies. <laughs> yes. Now, how to use this? Check your dasha. See which dasha you're in. Now you know mm -hmm. how you are. Simple. Oh, okay. So the, we use all this to see... How is, your current, how is your current relationship situation going? Okay. Whatever is the dasha, that is the state you are in. You are, exp you are getting that much. Okay? 
Like if you are in a dasha of second from Venus, you are getting in relationships. You're receiving. Wow. Your partner's doing that for you, in other words. Okay? Oh, okay. Yes. So you are the receiving end. If you have to give, if you're in the dashes of this group over here, then expect that now it's your turn to do something. Okay? So you can actually okay. gauge what is important for you to do in your relationship right now to make the relationship good. Okay? Uh -huh. So if you're in the second group here, it's time for you to work for the partner. If you're in the first group, sit back. You're lucky right now. All right? Okay. In fact, your spouse wants you to be like that. So just follow what they want. Why is the spouse asking that of you? Because God has decided that. Venus is God in relationships. Ah. <laughs> the problem is, is this first house from Venus. So let me examine that for you. Graha's friendly to relationships.